For years, the term married on Sunday, fired on Monday was a rallying cry for advocates of LGBTQ rights in the workplace. Well, today, those advocates are celebrating an historic Supreme Court ruling. KCAL's Brittany Hopper has reaction to that ruling. A victory tonight for the LGBTQ community. And while many people are celebrating around the country, they're also celebrating right here in West Hollywood. It's a historic win for LGBTQ rights as the Supreme Court voted Monday morning to ban workplace discrimination based on your sexual orientation or gender identity. Tara Russell Slavin with the Los Angeles LGBT Center spoke to us via FaceTime. Oh my goodness, this is an incredible victory. And uh, while it is, you know, far, you know, it definitely was time for this to happen, I think we are all uh, overjoyed and frankly pretty excited that this happened un under a conservative leaning court. The six to three decision was written by a conservative judge, and we're told it's the first pro LGBT rights Supreme Court of the United States decision that was not written by retired Judge Anthony Kennedy. Until Monday's decision, it was legal in more than half the states to fire workers for being gay, bisexual, or transgender. Well, I think it's fabulous because a lot of us are like myself, we're a little bit different than the other gays, where we speak a little bit different and people get turned off by that. And a lot of times people tend to discriminate just off that, not by knowing what our abilities are and what we can do in the professional world. The decision will also allow anyone who say they were discriminated against in the workplace based on their sexual orientation or gender identity to be able to file a lawsuit. The Supreme Court showed us that even the conservative members of the Supreme Court are starting to see what many of us have seen for our whole lives. It is reported that President Trump has accepted the ruling and added that it was a very powerful decision. In West Hollywood, I'm Brittany Hopper, KCAL 9 News.